Welcome back, you guys. So for this episode or edition of our watercolor gratitude journal, I'm going to tape the sides. So last time, if you watched what we did before, we did this one, which was the 10 things I'm thankful for. And today I'm going to do summer goals because Part of my mindful meditation is always setting a couple of goals and this can be anything from I'm going to take a walk every day for an hour or I'm going to improve my eating, I'm going to learn to cook a couple of new things, you know, whatever it is that you're going to do this month, you just need three nice focuses that you will look forward to. And I'm not talking about focuses that necessarily get you working harder. I'm talking about focuses that make you happy. Something that you will wake up in the morning and it will get you out of bed and it will like on the maybe the morning of every work day you're gonna do 10 minutes towards these goals. Um, if you're not working and you just finding that you just have lost your purpose which we all go through let me tell you as busy as I tend to make myself, I still have days where I wonder what I'm doing. <laughs> Why? And these really help. They do. They, they give me that little peace, you know, that peace of mind. And uh, that's why I thought this would be a great series to do, you know. So I have my Tintorito brushes and I have the size 4 and the size 8. Also size 6 is great. You know, I just happen to have these two here. I have my Molotow pens, which I talked about in the first part of the series. This is a 0.3 millimeter and a 0.5. I added some really thin painter's tape. You can use whatever size you like. I tend to like these ones by Scotch. I think that they work great and they don't, on 100% cotton watercolor paper, they don't bother it. They don't rip it. I'm using Fabriano 100% cotton watercolor paper. All this is linked up below and I have my Roman Schmal watercolors, which I love so much. So on summer goals, this is going to be three summer goals. Um, I have just basically put in, this is the five millimeter, some pencil lines here so I could stay on track, but I'm going to go ahead and add three. And I find that even on this paper, it's not too rough to write an in ink really well on. I just like to go slow so that the ink has time to sink into the cotton. And I find that if I write too fast, that's when it skips a little bit. But if I write slow and draw, you know, just purposefully, that's when I don't ever have issues with it. Now on this one, we didn't tape it. And I found that it was a nice reminder that it's really difficult to stay inside and sometimes it will bleed a little bit out. So taping it gives us a little more flexibility when it comes to the finished line when you lift it, you know, it looks just really cool. So you might want to tape it. I just don't know. Depends on how you feel about it. But entirely up to you. So I think for summer goals, I'm going to do some really beautiful flowers. So let's go ahead and get the Tintorito size eight. And there is a beautiful color in my Roman Schmal paints that I have found is just so inspiring. And it really is lovely to paint with. Now, whether you choose to do a um, granulating color or not, that is entirely up to you right? You can pink. But for this, I think summer goals would be so pretty in this ultra pink. I love how it's, it spreads so evenly. It's PR 259 and I ordered it uh, from the pans. Also PV19, if you like something a little more pink, Quinn Red is gorgeous. If you like the yellows, I recommend Quinn Yellow. That is so, so pretty. Or the Aquarius Yellow is the one I did for here. Um, if you like something a little more purpley pink, Quinn Fuchsia is gorgeous. Uh, that's 358. And another one that would be terrific if you want more blues 
is the cobalt sea blue also the trans turquoise the transparent turquoise gorgeous and for like more bluey blueies I really like the cobalt blue 406 so there are some great options for you in the Roman Schmall for sure they're just so beautiful but I'm gonna do the ultra pink I love it I have it right here in the uh, watercolor set and what I'm doing is I'm just wetting down the pan to start with and I'm gonna do just a lovely soft even wash across the entire page just adding water and a wash of color and remember there's a slight dry shift so it will give you um, now this is wet on dry it will give you a little bit of a lighter effect and remember when you're doing wet on dry if you're doing a wash and you just don't feel like you know wetting the entire paper and waiting then just go over it with extra water like this and add the layers in easy brush strokes and you'll be fine if it's a hundred percent cotton paper it really it does all the work for you it's going to spread it just fine now I want to do some loose flowers so I'm going to take some more of the uh, paint and while it's still wet I'm just going to do these loose flower shapes just little round kind of knob shapes here and we can always do more with them later even outline them you know even get another color going but I just I really don't want anything too pronounced because we're gonna write on this you know so I'm kind of just giving those soft shapes in here a little boost along the edges and the watercolor paper is going to spread it out so ultimately we can go back and even define this a little bit more but I find that just enjoy painting the color don't try to if you're going to write on the page don't try to get it too heavy another tip for granulating color too because this is slightly granulating is wipe your brush off and then smooth over any areas that you think looks a little heavy in the granulation. And this is also helping me kind of define some of the shapes. Wash my brush off again. And I can literally enforce these shapes just a bit more just by going around them and that's how I kind of like uh, do some really fun little shapes and ideas with my watercolors it's the beauty of watercolor there so I kind of have like these little circle shapes coming through here as it dries and it's blending you know it's blending as it goes and this is going to be, you know, just by lifting a little bit, it gives me some shapes, but not too much. I can also go back in with my smaller brush. And as this dries, we can take a little bit of the ultra pink. And mix it with either French Ultra or a little bit of the Dioxazine Violet just to darken it up a bit and then I can tap in some centers to my flowers but still keeping it really light you know just like that and then as that dries, just take a brush
and continue to highlight our flower shapes. Again, it's just the impression of the flowers that I'm kind of playing with as this dries. And there I went a little darker in this corner, just kind of smearing it out a bit. I like doing it this way because it really makes it clear, you know, that it brings out those beautiful textures and things of the watercolor. a little bit more here okay so just by smoothing over just a little bit of the darker color here you can see those shapes starting to come along and again I'm keeping it really soft and just encouraging those little shapes and as this dries it will have a dry shift and be slightly lighter. All right, let's go ahead and take the tape off and we'll see what we have. Perfect. This is great. Now, of course, I'm doing this series as a four part series on one sheet. So you can see it in this progression, but I encourage you to take a look at the travel journal, um, the accordion one that I made on the channel because I was doing this for my granulating watercolor class and it really is great because it's got 30 pages so you could do 30 of these and just take it wherever you want to go all summer and add to it every morning you can take it with your coffee it's just so nice um, if you do it on one sheet you can always cut these out and you can paste them right in very very easy to do anyway I hope you enjoyed this can't wait to see what you fill out please share it with the group when you do and let's move on to the next one